come to this conclusion. In order for you to be able to succeed, you have to establish yourself as a person of value. It's so important as you're going through your vision cycle, your vision wheel, to make yourself a person of value. The thing that I pray for the most when I pray, I pray for my gift. The reason is because the Word of God says that your gift will make room for you. So if my gift will make room for me, then could there be anything more important than for me praying for my gift? My gift is what makes room for me. Usually your gift is what creates your passion. It's what creates that desire for you to change people's lives. And so when you talk about changing people's lives, it has a lot to do with vision, okay? So let's talk about that as it relates to your gifting. So the amount of money that you will get paid is based largely on your value. And I want you to consider this. If someone were to pay you for your services, how much do you charge? Because money comes to you based on your value. Money comes to a person based on them becoming a person of value. It doesn't come from working hard or from securing degrees or an endless list of degrees. It doesn't come from that. Money always comes from making yourself a person of value. Money flows to value, okay? Money, as I'm going to define it, is the getting power of the mind. Why do you need money? Well, you can't pursue a vision without money, okay? Money is God's plan for our economic well-being, okay? That's so important. Write that down. Money is God's plan for your and my economic well-being. Money is the energy of the mind. The getting power of life is money, okay? So, what is a person's value, right? Let's talk about a person's value. I love a certain preacher. Her name is Joyce Meyer. And I didn't know Joyce Meyer at all until one day I was driving to a job that I was working on a Sunday. And I would go to work, then I'd go, then I'd go to, to my job. And as I was driving, there's a particular street I used to use and I would never see any traffic over there. It was always quiet on a Sunday. But this one particular Sunday, I came through that street and it was jam-packed with cars everywhere. There was traffic and it took me about an hour to get through a place that used to take me just two minutes to get past there. And I asked a certain gentleman, I said, what's happening here today? He said to me, Joyce Meyer is here. And the way he said that, he said that as though I would know what that means. Basically, what he was communicating with me was that there's a person of value here that isn't usually here. And because that person is here, they have attracted all of these people here. I went home and I started to do research on who Joyce Meyer was. And I found out so many valuable nuggets of things that she's taught about the kingdom of God that helped me so much in those days of my life. And as I began to learn from her, I began to kind of grow. I started to learn so many more things that I didn't know. But the, the first thing is I started to learn that because someone name dropped and just say Joyce Meyer is here, it meant that this was a person who had built themselves to become a person of so much value that when they come to your city, they attract attention. People were coming in their thousands to pour into Joyce Meyer's ministries because she had managed to do one thing. She found out what her value is and she knows how to serve it. And as she began to serve it, many people's lives were being transformed. So what am I saying? The key to your influence, the key to your transformation, the key to being a person of value, comes from you developing yourself into becoming a person of value. Your purpose for your life, people will seek you out because you have a gift. And when you sharpen your gift, you begin to use that gift to transform people's lives. And when you start to use your gift to transform people's lives, you're gonna witness something. 
people will begin to pour into you because you have a clear vision. A clear vision is so important because as I said before, people don't give to people, they give to vision. And if you have a clear vision, people want to get behind that. Now, I said all that so that I could show you this. We are currently in a, a vision where we are building a school. And as I was sharing with you our five-year vision at the beginning, I wanted you to walk through these four stages because that's what every vision has to go with. So as we started with our vision, we started off by writing it down. And then we are taking steps now to build it. And what you're witnessing is what is called envision. So what you're seeing on the screen is us walking through the vision right now. We are taking the steps. And what typically happens is that you go through a situation of people creating what we call a test, where your vision is tested for authenticity. And you may go through a hard time trying to establish people to become a part of what you're doing, attracting investors, attracting destiny helpers, attracting destiny underwriters, attracting, you know, subscribers and people that become that come along with you and want to help you and what you have to do is you have to resist division and when you have successfully resisted division then you will come to a place where it's the manifestation the manifestation of your vision where you learn from your mistakes you learn from what you've gone through and then you reapply what you've learned in what is called revision and and what it does is it has no choice but to help you to develop yourself into a better person, to develop your gift, to be able to communicate your vision better. And that's making you a better character. And as you're growing into becoming a better character, you are creating value in yourself. You are learning more. So by the time we get done with our vision, what happens is we have understood so much more how to be able to execute as visionaries. So when we speak to other people about how to grow their vision, it's because we've already gone through that. At this stage in my life, I have been able to do so many things in terms of vision that I'm able to teach about it because I've understood in the course of vision that we are now in a place of writing down the vision. Okay, now we are in a place of envisioning, in other words, walking through it. Now we are in a place of division and resisting division. And now we are in a place of revision and making sure that we complete our vision according to how we set it out and according to how God would have us execute. And so I hope that this teaching today helped you a lot in terms of being able to accomplish your vision. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.